Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Fontaine down here in London. Brentford 1, Newcastle 2. Newcastle have won three matches in a space of one week. I class this as a week of death. And we've been able to win all three of the games. What a crazy game of football that was. First half, Brentford have a goal disallowed. You have two pins, scored one of them. Second half, Newcastle changed the formation and it's completely changed the match. What an unbelievable game. Coming up. And what were you thinking for the score today? Um, 2-1. Um, How do you go, scores? Um, Bruno, I think Bruno and Callum Wilson. Well, I take it Bruno's your favourite player. Hopefully you get his <laughs> two after the game. What about yourself? Um, what do you think the score will be? I think it'll be 3-0. Isaac and Callum Wilson. Yeah, I think it'll be 3-0. Guys, we are now joined here by the one and only Rusty back on the channel, the channel regular. Today, Brentford, what are we thinking? 3 0. Sven Botman's first goal. You like Sven Botman's goal, though, he hasn't done it yet. It's going to come, it's going to come sometime. And can I just say, Carl Morrison, I told you so. Sven Botman, 3 0. Everyone who watches, right, knows that it's going to be. That's what, I, that's what I go for. That's what I go for. Sven! Well, let's see if Sven Botman actually is it today, shall we? He's got it, he's got it there, Adam, he's got it there. What are you saying for the score? 3-0. Isaac Brave. I might get away with this one, yeah, I thought he was on at first to be honest, but that's what VAR's yeah, here to do. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Tony offside, <laughs> got away with one there, like. Uh, how about Poppy? Newcastle players are going to step up.
the worst pain you're going to see in the world, by the way. Come on. He passed all dodged two bullets this half. Middle of our goal, Nick Pope. In the middle of our goal, Nick Pope. In the middle of our goal, Nick Pope. In the middle of our goal, Nick Pope. The checking for a second pen here. Well, pretty much it took a, a short corner, and I think it was Ace Sack who kicked someone. What's he saying? Oh, it's a second pen. Oh, this is a disaster. Uh, he gets a second chance. Come on, Bobby. Them, Brentford won, Newcastle nil. That was actually oh, no. shy for us, really. I mean, that has to be the worst 45 minute game I've seen from us in the world. We got let off twice before the second pen. The offside goal, I mean, Tony is about a yard offside for the initial head. I've got away with that one. Newcastle haven't got gold in this half to say, at least really haven't. I mean, miles off it, Brentford deserved to be winning. Whilst that the same, Brentford have been the better team. There's not often this season where I've said that the opposition team has convinced me to be better than Newcastle. But they have in this case been miles better than us. And Newcastle second half, Eddie Howe's going to give a right bollock after that. Because that was rubbish from us. No one had good luck. You want to get top four this season, you've got to try and do something down. Yeah, we, I mean, we can still be realistic to get at least a point from this game once we get going. Rubbish first 45, there'll be miles of it. The cast got let up twice. Tony, I don't know what he's doing with his first pen, but he got his second chance and he took it. Brentford deserve it, but what else I need to say? 100% deserve it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, that has to be Eddie Howe at his very best. The half time Newcastle are completely getting dominated on Brentford. He switches the formation and gets the second striker in. And all of a sudden, we've just had them the majority of the half there. And an RJ, a Callum Wilson goal, would have stood 3 1 then at that point it is game over. Aye, we've held on well there. Really, really, really good win. These are a good team, by the way. I've went for the lot. Right, three points, nine points in six days. We actually won all three of the matches in one week. That's incredible.
There we have it in full time. A Brentford won the Castle 2. If you had told me a hard time, the Castle would win that game, I would have been shocked because that first half was just so bad. Every right from us. I thought Brentford had a really good first half. Clay turned up for the game. We got a little twice and we give away a second pen. I, I don't know if the second one is a pen to be honest, but regardless, I hope Brentford did deserve to be winning the half time. First one was a definite pen and Tony just bottled that one, so he got his second chance and he took it and Brentford deservedly were one the up. So Eddie Howe half time completely switched the formation. You got that second strike one. Yes, he did. Isaac was the one that turned to the second half. When he needs a top level strike, a 60 million pound strike, I turn him. He does it every single time. <laughs> No, I do like the second half it was to be fair, but that was not uh, an easy game at all. Uh, yeah, everyone is actually buzzing that one. We went for the entire week and won all the games. We won all three games in six days. I thought those fixtures, I'm thinking there'd be a bad injury in there. We dropped points at some point, but no, we won all three of the matches. Second half was, oh, I say easier. It wasn't easy, but Newcastle did control the game. Uh, Jordan, in about 50 minutes, so scored. The pressure kept mounting and mounting and mounting. They kept building up. There was only one way out of the game was going to go in the second half. That was Newcastle. We were so confident Newcastle were going to win the game with the way we turned up in the second half. We were ready for it. Brentford was starting to sit back a little bit. Scored second goal. It's like what a goal that is, by the way. Unbelievable for that. I said it before when he needs somebody to step up, he is the one that's going to step up for you. Class player does it again. Uh, we then score a third goal. Uh, it got given us a handball and rose, and I'm not sure what it was. I've heard mixed thoughts on that in the ground, so I don't know. Um, I'll assume VR was right in that it was a handball. But on our day, Wilson gets a better touch or whatever, and we scored a third goal. Then it's um, then it is game over that point. But no, it was disallowed. Then Brentford did come back in the game. That's 20, 25 minutes, so they did give it a good goal. But I thought the damage was done once we got that second goal because the castle was just had a really good half there. That's the thing about us though, um, even when we're not having great games, you still win matches. That's what a good football team does, and that's why I'm so confident in us that we can actually get this top four position. It's going to take time. Um, we've still got a good more games to go. I'm not sure on the Tottenham score, although we're drawing a hard time against Brighton last time it looks. So hopefully that game is a draw, because that will really benefit us. But if not, though, um, it's still in our hands anyway. We've still got the game in hand. We have to play Tottenham and Brighton. Those two games are going to be key. I still think Manchester United will finish in the top four, so I'm watching Tottenham and Brighton like a hawk. I'm watching those two, making sure that we stay ahead of them. So, what a game that was. What an unbelievable game that was. I can't believe it. We've actually done the turnaround. So, yeah, guys, enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed watching. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.